Yeah, and I, you know, he was he was my John Wayne. If anybody questions about John's character, his refusal to take an early release from the POW camp, I don't know if I could do that, you know. So, yeah. We learned how consistent he is. That what seems to be very relevant today, the message he's putting out there is consistent with what he was putting out there 10, 20, and 30 years ago, which was impressive to us. When the New York Times announced that he was getting diagnosed with glioblastoma, we, we knew time was ticking, and uh, we had done a film earlier on uh, Senator Kennedy after he was diagnosed, and it just was a natural fit. The quality is his willingness to say he screwed up on something. So he, he's, he's a unique individual in that he makes a lot of mistakes but he, he quickly recognizes his mistakes, apologizes for them, and tries to act accordingly. And I think it's, it's refreshing in this day and age. And this is a man that has served our country for the first half of his life in the military, for the second half of his life in government. I mean, he, he has dedicated his life to, 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 to America. One other thing I'd like to add is I love how open he is. I mean, in 2000, when he did his Straight Talk Express, I mean, that's a very revolutionary idea to let the press sit on the bus with you and open up and say what's on your mind in real time as opposed to filtering it all the time, so I respect that a lot. I brought the film down a few weeks ago and showed it to him in, in, uh, in its pretty fine state form and he, he loved it. But he, he said uh, he nailed it. <laughs> he took, he actually took Teddy by the hand and said, thank you, thank you, you nailed it.